Hi everyone, Dinesh Sarasena here, and today we're going to be talking about injections for a Morton's neuroma. As with my previous talk about imaging a Morton's neuroma, I would typically have the patient lying in a supine position with the foot either resting on the examination couch or just hanging off it slightly. This should be a lot more comfortable for the patient and for you it should be easier to manipulate the foot so that when you're undertaking the injection it also makes it somewhat easier. And this is how I would undertake the injection. So using a linear transducer placed either in a short or long axis orientation on the plantar aspect of the foot, I would bring the needle in from the dorsal aspect either directly above if you're using the short axis orientation or at a slight tangent between the toes if you're using the long axis orientation. In both situations, you want to aspirate to make sure that you haven't damaged any blood vessels. And if you haven't, then you can inject the substrate that you want to. And this is what you want to see on the ultrasound. So using the short axis orientation, you want to see the metatarsal heads. You want to identify the web space where the Morton's neuroma is situated. And you want to bring the needle directly down into that space from the dorsal aspect and inject the substrate into that space. If you're using the long axis orientation of the transducer, you want to identify the web space identify the hypoechogenic swelling and then you can bring the needle either from between the toes or from the dorsal aspect of the foot directly into that space and then you want to inject the substrate. The substrate could be a PRP injection or it could be a corticosteroid injection depending on what's available to you. In both situations, as I mentioned earlier, it's important to aspirate to make sure that you don't damage any neurovascular structures. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video informative and it adds to your knowledge of musculoskeletal ultrasound imaging and interventions. If you did, please remember to hit the like down below and subscribe to the channel for further updates. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram and TikTok and remember to check out sportsmedinfo.sg. Thanks again and I hope to see you all very soon.